Welcome to Algorithmic Finance. In this video, we will learn how we can create expert advisor by using MQL5. So don't worry if you never coded it before. So we will go step by step from zero to advanced level. So we will be learning together. So let's move on my computer and start coding. And this is MetaTrader 5 terminal window. If I press F4 or if I click this IDE, so it will move on to Meta, Meta Editor window. So this is the part that we will write our codes. Everything that we can do over terminal like opening a position or close position and doing technical, technical research. So everything that we can do over terminal, we can also do over meta editor window. All we need to do, we should know how we can write codes, how we can create our system. So now I will create new expert advisor. I click new expert advisor next here i need to put name i put i will put name name will be expert one so next uh, i will not mark any of these next and next now we have template empty uh, meta mql5 file so from here i will delete the part that i will not use today just to make it simplify Now I delete the part that I don't use. Here as you see like there is three different function. On init function, on the init function, on think function. Uh, in this video I will only be working on on init function. So we will we will learn step by step. Now I deleted the part that I don't use. So so let's now look into details of on init function. This is the function that it will work once once we attach our expert advisor over chart. So let's make an example and I am here to write my first chord alert. As you see, after I put A and L, as you see that system shows you can pick up one of these I pick up alert after I pick up alert I will just put some number just like one and every function in MQLF I have to end with semicolon so so which means that so this line says finished and I finish I put semicolon at the end when I compile so now I move on with Navigator. Expert advisor. Here is as you see expert number one. So when I draw and drop on our chart. As you see we get alert of as one because I put one. So I put number so without uh, without any quotation mark. But when it comes to put some verb such as quotation mark between quotation mark I can put hello and I compiled as you see I get the alert of hello so this is that we write our first code now let's look at some other function that we can learn so for example I need to get the, the total positions amounts here as you see there is only one open position there one lot of uh, buy position but it might be several when I decide to get the number of when I decide to get the number of this position I can use this function position total as you see position total function will return me the amount of total position on this account this total position will go instead of hello I delete this up here as you can see I can put function inside of another function so also here I will write with quotation mark total pause so after quotation mark I compile so it gave me alert I will remove this alert okay I will compile again as you see total pos equal one so this gave me this total position 
So we use alert and another function that we it can be it can be beneficial for us comment function. I put comment and compile. As you see here now in left up corner, I see the the things. I see the value that I try to get uh, over MetaTrader 5 and this was the open position. Now let's get some other data by using I will get Now I want to get the symbol uh, ask price. As you see there is lots of symbol uh, on MetaTrader window and uh, from broker to broker may change but uh, usually like more than 1000 different currency pairs or products that you can trade will be available so for example I want to get euro USD's current ask price so when I look on chart or when I look this market watch I see it but uh, I want to get this as data so that I can give decision should I open position should I close position so all the decision that I may do so I need this data so for this for ask price our function symbol info double when I open parentheses now as you see I need to put two different parameters the first parameter first parameter is this symbol here here between quotation mark I can put directly to name of the product or I will put null which means so wherever my expert is working that will be the and the product that I am looking for it now symbol ask so this function means symbol info double will give me will give me so the ask price of current chart so I need to close parentheses because how many parentheses I open I have to close them back otherwise I will get like error as you see I get error so all this uh, parentheses should be equal I compile again and it's time to run as you see uh, current ask price 1.17 17843 as you see exactly the same price with ask price so all this function only has worked once now price is not moving because it's weekend so if the new price comes so this this should be updated so let's see how it will look in back testing view strategy tester here is there is a section of visual and I will hear this I will pick up the expert that I created just before expert one euro USD one hour chart and last month last month I will see how it will perform our expert will not open any position right now because we didn't write it so we will only get this ask price so I start as you see left up gave us so the ask price but ask price of not this at the moment because it gave only so when we run when we first time run this expert it gave this price now I close so let's also have data as not ask price on also bid price all I need to do pick up symbol I only change the second part first time is exactly the same when I compile as you see this time we get bid price if I want to price if I want to get the price of gold not euro USD yeah? so I can draw and drop the expert on gold chart or here in with in between quotation mark I will put the symbol code of gold now I put the, the symbol code of gold and I will get ask price when I compiled no matter my expert is working so expert is working on euro ESD but just because we put here is the name of the, the specific symbol I will get the specific symbol is ask price so this is the price of ask price of gold as you see we can check here so if I put here as another symbol is, is GBP USD also I get this GBP USD as well and let's do one more practice let's work on with chart as you see there are a daily charts on screen what if I want to get the close price of yesterday for example this uh, red bar so I want to get the close price 
So if I want to do manually, so I will click Ctrl F and this data window that I can open this data window with view. So when I stop on this current, uh, current bar, as you see, I see this close price 1.17,549. As I can see manually. So here is I and now with meta editor window, I will also learn how, we, how I can get it by writing codes. For this, I need to use this I close function. I open parentheses now. Now it asks some parameters. Here I will put directly here. This time I will put null. So which means this current expert, the current chart that expert is working. Here I need to pick up period. So here I will put current period, which means so which which time frame that I, I run this expert, it will get current. It will get exactly the same. And when I and it asks shift, shift will start from zero, zero will be the current bar. So when I move back like one, two, three, four, it will go the past data. So zero is the current one and one will be the closed, will be last closed uh, bar. So now it's ready. I will put on comment again, open parentheses and close parentheses. Let's check did we get the correct data or not. As you see I get exactly the same close price. But if I want to get this this current bar so for this I need to put zero. When I put the zero compile as you see at this time I get the close price of this current bar. So if I want to get like five or ten bar before Let's say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's get this 5. It will start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When I put 5 this time, when I put 5 this time, it will give me exactly this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As you see, this time I get this 5, this pulse candle price. We start to get data with from chart, from the symbol info. So we will we will warming up slow by slow, step by step until that we can create our own expert advisor that will open and close position automatically without any psychological effect, without any effort. So once we set all the system up, so the, the system will just do all the things for us. For this, we need to just work a little more and do exercise that we learned today. And next class, we will move on further. See you at the next video. Bye-bye.